What is something you worked really hard for in life? What frustrates you? Why does it frustrate you? What is something we both like? Those are some questions that you could answer with your friends in these books. I have made some books that they're called friendship journals and you just go through them with a friend. And there are three different kinds, just with three different questions and some activities too. And I thought that would be fun to just build connection with you and another person. And so if you'd be interested in that or know someone who would be, uh, link is in the description below for purchasing on Amazon. We're going to the next loop. It is the ESFJ. I have a dear ESFJ friend and we've known each other since fourth grade. So that would be um, up to 20 years. 20 years, almost 20. No. I disagree. How do you math? That'd be 2004. Then you have 2014. It's almost 20 years. Dang! It's been a long time. And so the function stack for the ESFJ is extroverted sensing, introverted feeling, extroverted thinking, and introverted intuition. And so when the ESFJ is working at their prime, they are utilizing the first two functions. And then when there's some pressures or stresses happening in their life, they will shift to their third function as if it's an auxiliary function. And then the world around them starts to change. Initially, it's not a bad thing, gives new perspective. Um, but then if you can't get out of the loop, you start obsessing over things. And so I'd like to describe some of the obsessions, what it looks like, and some ways to be able to climb out of that. One of the things that the ESFJ will start obsessing over is that they just want to do and they're not thinking about the ramifications of their actions. They become aggressive, tunnel visioned, and they're just pursuing what they want to pursue in their goals. They're no longer utilizing their introverted feeling, which is more about a moral code and what you believe is right and wrong. They're being motivated by extroverted thinking, which is very fact and logical driven. But because they are also utilizing extroverted sensing, those two don't normally aren't really supposed to go hand in hand for a long period of time. And so they start becoming really just straightforward, aggressive. They're not taking into account what they truly believe is right or wrong. They're just pressing through. And sometimes this happens because they're trying to fix the results of the failures in their past. So in order to pull themselves out of this loop, what they can do alongside of actually addressing and identifying what is pushing them into the loop is that they just need to self-reflect. They need to pull back and do things that used to relax them. They just need to stop taking actions for a little bit and just self-reflect on what's important, what they value, and start filtering their actions based off of that and not rigorous logic. And again, it's really important to know why you're being put into this position and why you feel like you need to be harsh and critical and you can't just be the softer person that you normally are who's very giving and inviting and loving. And don't be afraid to ask people to point these things out in your life. So hopefully that's helpful. If you're an ESFP, feel free to put your experience in the comment section below. I think we'll really appreciate your insights. And don't forget the books if you feel like you would benefit from just having some good questions to help deepen your relationships um, with the people around you. It can be people that you're just friends with, dating, married. It could be your mom, whoever, or it could be a cool gift. Um, that'll be in the description below. And then I will see you in another video, another life you never know. Peace out, homie. G dog. Okay.